Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Um, my last recording I felt wasn't as good, so I'm gonna continue part three in this, and uh, I'm gonna redo one of my uh, one of the stages to get the red ring, and then I'm going to be going through the Sky Fortress. So let's do it. So this will stop put me at Sky Forest, but I don't wanna. Uh, I want to do, I want to play as Night Sonic, and Night Sonic is the same as every other Sonic, with the homing attack ability and everything, but I just want to start by uh, showing you what happened in the last video. So in the last video, you just hit this button, and then uh, when you hit this button, it will open up this passageway, so let's do that. And then this will go here, and that will remove everything, the gate around this place, and we can enter the time attack. So let's do that. And the time attack is to finish the, le the level in three minutes. But we can even go through the level at a different... Um, in a different way. Well, we do it. It shouldn't take any time at all. So I'm just going to speed through it. Uh, we're going to go through the loop here. I really enjoy the scripted sections in this, these levels. I gotta make sure I save up on speed. Because if I don't, then it's gonna be even tougher. Go here. I'm gonna jump down. Come on. Try to go through here. And we'll try not to fail like we did in the other level. If we get up there within a certain time, we should be able to get through. If we get up there by uh, about 20-30, I mean uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds, we should have no problem. Here we go. Thirty seconds left. And we're gonna make sure to collect the red ring at the end. And we did it. And that's perfect. So now that we've done that, um, we're going to do Sky, uh, Sky Fortress. And the thing about Sky Fortress is it, is it has multiple pathways. Uh, so let's jump into it. And we're going to take the middle pathway this time. And then we might show off the other pathways. I, I was very frustrated on this level. I thought 
thought it was, I was very upset because I thought the level was very, not very well designed out of all of them, and it's partially true, but it's also like, I wasn't as good as I should have been, so. We go right here, and you see the second red ring is on the left here. Uh, after this, we're going to go through the level on the different sections. Every red ring, except that one, they're all in the center area. So you you really don't want to go through the the rail section here. You really want to go through this. Actually, when you go to the left or the right, um, you don't really... You get a lot of rings and enemies, but not really anything else. Huh. There is a way to get up here. Uh, of course I hit the left click to homing attack. But then you go this way, and you get the red ring. I was kind of frustrated because I was I was just so bad at this that I felt like not reporting for a while. So I gotta stay motivated even when something's not really going my way. So hopefully this rail section doesn't glitch Be because sometimes it does glitch. We go on this one, and this gives us the fourth red ring, and now we have the shield. Oh my goodness. Jumping into enemies. What happened there? Let's not jump on this part. I've jumped on this before and it's not good. So yeah, um, we continue through this part of the level. I think I'll do like two levels in a video and that's what I'll try to do. I couldn't figure out where this last red ring was until I saw the video. Um, it's actually right behind here. So yeah. I thought it would be on this upper path, but it wasn't. going to be taking the left path and the right path because, um, or we're going to take a lot more paths because this video wouldn't be long enough if we did anything else. So, or if we just stop here. go through the left pathway this time, and we'll go through the lower path. The boost and the jump is really nice. Uh, you don't want a homing attack um, in all situations, because if you do, then um, you won't, there's no momentum like in a Sonic world, so you might just want to homing attack and make sure you're actually going to go straight into your target. Usually getting the red rings results in you wasting uh, too much time to get the S rank. So we're going to take the normal path this time. And sometimes uh, the rails used to fail. so. Uh, used to fall off a lot. Let's not hit the jump button. Oh my gosh, the homing attack. Uh, 
uh, after this we're going to take the right passageway. And it's very similar to the left passageway. Or maybe, maybe, well, the, uh, you can actually hit spacebar to use the sword. I didn't realize that you could do that. But we're gonna go through this one more time. But you can reach the higher point by doing this. See? See? Look at the homing attack. There is an area around here that you go on the rails and you go two ways and I like that section. These levels are fast if you're fast, but if you want to slow down then these stages are sizable for like three or four minutes. We're gonna do this again. Let's test out the sword ability. Oh nice. I'm never going to use the sword ability, but it's there. It's there. When you get rings, I don't think they save cumulatively, you have to get them in the hub world to unlock things, which there's plenty of them, but... And that's Sky Fortress, the, the fourth level in the game, unless you go down a different path, but, you know. And that's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, signing out. Peace.